Hi, I'm Scott, and today I'm going to show you how I built this hot sauce display on Dad It Yourself. Okay, today's project. Here we go. So, I have a friend that wants me to build them this uh, hot sauce display. They found this on the internet. I am not the original creator of this. This is for inspiration only. I actually did a Google search and I found it on Reddit. And it's this user right here, Tyler Welsh. And I'll have a link down in the description to his original post on Reddit if you're interested in checking that out. So I've got these three pieces of 4S pine from Home Depot that are one by 12s. This is gonna be 36 inches tall and about 30 inches wide. So let's get started with getting these glued together. So this is the widest glue up I've ever done. I don't have a lot of assembly space, so I'm gonna kind of muck through this uh, with what I got. So let's get started. Okay, got everything under glue. Use some four foot levels as calls to keep that nice and flat. See you in a couple hours. Okay, so I let this dry overnight. Let's get these clamps off of here. So I made this relatively rough sketch of the outline, the shape of the shelf. And what I'm doing is placing it kind of trying to avoid some of these bigger knots. And then I'll cut it out of this section after I tape it down and trace it. Okay, so I have that all traced out. And a crazy man would use a bandsaw. Uh, this thing's 30 inches wide, 36 inches long. My little 9-inch bandsaw wouldn't work for that. So I'm going to use this jigsaw right here. Got a brand new blade on it. Uh, fortunately, these edges will be rounded over, sanded, trimmed, so they don't have to be perfect. But brand new blade, so they'll get close. Let's get started. So that jigsaw did a really good job of cutting these edges. They're pretty clean. I'm pretty happy with them. Uh, I'm just going to use my belt sander now to kind of smooth out these transitions, clean this edge up a little bit, and then I'll switch to the orbital sander. We'll sand it down to smooth and we'll go from there. Okay, so I got these edges all sanded up with that belt sander and I'm going to go ahead and put an eighth inch round over on this with this palm router before I take it down with the orbital sander and sand that. So on these tight little areas where the router can't get in with the bearing, I just use a round file and just clean those edges up and bring those, round those over a little bit. I'll get in there with a little bit of hand sandpaper a little later and really round those out. So I'm going to use the orbital sander. I'm going to start with 80 grit, move up to 120, and finish with 220, doing the front face and all the sides. Okay, everything's sanded down to 320 and you see these lines they're about eight inches apart and as you can see they're about the size of a bottle of hot sauce 
and then you can put some taller ones here and here and over in these edges here. So what I need to do now is take some of this scrap down there and rip that into three inch widths and then plane that down to half inch thicknesses. Let's get started. So everything is milled down half inch. So one of these pieces will be the actual shelf and then the other one will be like a curb or a bumper on the front, a railing, we'll call it a railing. So got, that's enough for both those down there, these two here, these three across here, and then this one up here. So the next thing I have to do is measure these to length, to length. cut them around the corners, uh, bevel them as needed in some of those places. And we'll do all that on the bandsaw and the sander. And maybe a little chop saw too. Okay, for the next step, I gotta make the rail. So here's the bottom. Here's the top, and it's a half inch rail all the way around. So what I'm doing is taking my anchor gauge here, and I'm pulling a half inch line from the front. So I've got my marks on here. I'm gonna wait on the outside corners until after I fit these and glue them together and then cut them together. But I'm gonna cut them out here on the bandsaw. So let's get started on that. All right, so I've sanded all the inside curves and all of the flat surfaces that I won't be able to sand once these are glued together. So guess what? We're gonna glue the rails on top of the uh, shelves now. Here we go. Okay, all the shelves are all glued up. You can see now my main focus is going to be rounding these corners over cleaning these edges up a little so they match the curves and then sanding the tops and once those are all done I'm going to glue those down all right time to get on the bench sander All right, shelves are all done, and I have marked where they go on here. And I'm going to pre-drill two holes for each shelf, three for the longer ones, that once I glue it in, I'll be able to screw in from the back and secure those shelves permanently. I'm going to flip this over and countersink all those holes with this countersink bit so that when I put the screws in, they don't stick out the back. So to put each shelf on, I'm just gonna run a bead of glue right along the line, place the shelf, clamp it down, and then drive some screws from the bottom.
All right, last step. Three coats with death gloss. Hey, this was a relatively easy project made with materials from the home center and a few simple tools. Oh. Hey, this was a relatively easy project made with materials from the local home center and a few simple tools. You can tackle this in a weekend. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, don't forget to put those down below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you do, hit the bell for notifications. I've got some videos over here you may be interested in. Subscribe button's down below. Thanks for watching. Dad it yourself.